May God bless you and save yourself, who can? As the great imperialists play their grand game over the heads of Poles and Ukrainians, history over the past centuries has shown that Poland is treated in this great game as a mere pawn. One that can even be sacrificed. Poland is seen as a card to be discarded. And this is how the great imperialists, represented by Mr. Secretary Blinken, approach the situation. This play should not surprise anyone. But what should surprise and raise objections is that Warsaw is adapting to these rules of the game, rules set by those who currently lead the nation and state. We oppose and condemn the clientelism of the policies from the presidential palace and the office of the Council of Ministers. We condemn the subordination to directives from Washington, London, and other capitals. Directives that turn Poland into a guarantor and major financier of wars for other countries. The Polish nation has been pushed into the role of paying for a war that the Anglo-Saxon powers are waging by proxy in Ukraine, not just against Moscow, but also Beijing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not our war. This is not our war, a war that could have been avoided. And when the tragic escalation finally occurred, there was already a peaceful solution at hand. Let us remember that in the early months of 2022, a peace agreement had been drafted and agreed upon. But then, the Prime Minister at the time, Mr. Johnson, made an unannounced visit to Kiev from London, and the agreement was cancelled. And the war continued. A steamroller, passing through the failed Ukrainian state, a war that may have sent half a million Ukrainians to the other side. Meanwhile, Poles have become morally and financially responsible, bankrupting themselves on military equipment and other financial burdens. Above all, the power of the Polish state has been reduced to serving as the rear guard of the Ukrainian front. Every time a plane lands in Warsaw, carrying Secretary Blinken or any other statesman from London or Washington, there is real cause for concern. Ladies and gentlemen, as my colleagues have pointed out, we are at the bottom of the pecking order hierarchy. Matters were negotiated there. In London, Washington, in Kiev. Perhaps there was some creative conversation regarding the future. Here in Warsaw, we will only have announcements. Duda. Tusk, Sikorsky, they will reveal to them the current wisdom of the scene in a non-alternative, indisputable way. They will simply accept the proposed message and carry out Anglo-Saxon directives. Secretary Blinken has a very serious history of anti-Polish activities.
antypolskiej działalności. To jest człowiek, This is a man who called on Poles to be more open as they say to the migration of refugees and so-called migrants invaders. Even before the war in Ukraine escalated, this is a man who at the beginning of his term in office in the Secretariat of State called on Poland to meet Jewish claims and submit to Jewish demands. This is a man whose attitude towards the Polish raison d'etat. Polish national interest is really, really no better than his predecessors in these positions. Those who in Yalta, those who in Tehran, came to terms with their then allies over our dead bodies as part of the then wisdom of the stage. We stand here before you not knowing what the agenda of today's meetings is. How would we know? But we stand in a representative composition for the Confederation of the Polish Crown, Secretary General Jan Krysiak, member of the same. Member of the Foreign Affairs Committee Roman Fritsch and I, as a Polish member of the European Parliament, also in the composition of the Foreign Affairs Committee of the brussels Strasbourg Parliament. And I declare to you, from our point of view, Anthony Blinken is persona non grata in Warsaw. Blinken, go home. Go home. As soon as possible. Get lost. Get lost. We don't want you here. We don't want, we don't want Polish people paying and dying for your wars. Thank you very much. Dziękuję Thank you bardzo. very much for attention. We do not want to be either payers or victims of wars that have been unleashed in Central Europe for centuries by people whose successors is Secretary Blinken. For this we are not responsible, but we are responsible to the nation, God and history for how Polish elites act in such situations. It is time to end clientelism. It is time for Polish domestic and foreign policy to stop staggering from wall to wall. Peace and PO. In all these matters unfortunately we are dealing here with a continuation. The Confederation of the Polish Crown submits its separate opinion, a vote of separation. We want peace. We want prosperity and freedom. Not on someone else's basket, not on someone else's basket. And we are not happy that by the power of behind-the-scenes decisions, another hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians will go to the ground, to the cemetery, if they get there in one piece. We are not happy about that. But we are not responsible for this either. We are not responsible for the Kiev regime, but we have the right to say, and we repeat, do not move our capital to Kiev or to London or to Washington. We do not agree to the utilization of Polish life, health, property for events whose purpose or the stake is to maintain the hegemony of this or that imperialist. Thank you for your attention.